Morocco is a very beautiful country, amazing culture, friendly people. I really want to talk about Marrakech Airport, the Menorah Airport at Marrakech. And that particular airport is really very beautiful and that is the first thing in terms of what do you expect to see when you arrive at Marrakech Airport. And you know, we're talking about elegant architecture, we're talking about, you know, classy, you know, clean, you know, and friendly stuff as well. And you know, that's the first thing really. Another thing is that on arrival you expected to complete some paperwork. Actually, it's just one sheet of paper that we just have basic information about you and also where you're going to stay, you know, in Marrakech. And also, you know, you are also expected to do well, This depends on the time you arrive. I mean, when I arrive or when we arrive, because with my boys, it was really very busy. So I don't know whether when you're going to arrive, it might be busy, it might not, but for us, it was really very busy, which means that, you know, there was a long queue. But the good thing about the queue was that, you know, it was moving, you know, constantly moving queue. And then you expect it to then get to the uh, immigration point. Immigration point is one of those ones that you never, is always going to be different uh, for different people in terms of depending on what passport you're carrying and also you know depending on you know whether you're your solo family or you know there are just a number of things that will determine you know what you expected to um, the question that they might ask you in terms of the immigration officer for me it was just a basic uh, question about you know um, you know what do you do for a living I don't know it was just a random question and I just um, I just answered you know what I do for a living and then that was it really and then they then had um, to take um, a photo almost like you are uh, just facing there was a particular camera small camera and then why they were um, I guess this is just for you know security or you know what have you which is just a normal thing at most airport nowadays where you they will take your photo and then you know they will look at your passport and then give the passport back to you and then on to uh, you know um, custom custom is the one that you know if you are carrying a drone this is particularly specifically to well not only content creator nowadays I mean people do have drone just for family use or for personal use but you know most content creators who are travelers tend to have drone with them you know don't go to Morocco with drone because you know I think I don't think it's only uh, Marrakech I think all the airport in Morocco generally you are not really allowed to bring um, drone to the country um, even though if you take it there you have to declare it and whereby you know they collect it and then when you are then leaving the country or leaving the airport then you are going to then collect it back they will give it back to you so basically they won't allow you to use drone um, in, in, in Morocco and you know it's one of those things that you know it's just the law there so it's their rule so you just have to obey their rule um, even if you don't declare I mean they have a banner that shows you know drone is not allowed or maybe declare if you if you don't declare it's possibly going to get caught through the security check through the scanner uh, so which you know it's better for you to just declare it anyway after the custom check with the scanner then you are just out of the airport really so but before custom something that you might consider doing is to get uh, you know a sim card you know I mean you might just have your phone or uh, your you know sim card from the country where you're traveling from which might just roam uh, but for me I just got another um, you know sim card specifically I got a new uh, sim card actually that sim card I got so which is see there at the back of my phone actually so which I put my um, sim from the uk i put it there at the back of the and then after i then finish in morocco and then i then remove morocco uh, sim card so which i still have that morocco sim card i might still use it next time I, uh, I visit morocco again because i'm actually thinking of visiting again sometime in the future so you might get a sim card um which you can just buy you know some airtime or data you know on that sim card there or you might consider changing money as well you know they just have all of those just right there as well so after the uh, immigration check so you have option to just go around and do all of those and uh, yeah so and then when you're returning it's just like something similar in terms of you have to pass through um, immigration and uh, maybe pass a custom as well um, you know so which you know all of these are just really very smooth and straightforward and um, i think the, the minimum thing for me about this particular airport is just the beauty how uh, i just really love the the architecture i just love you know how beautiful uh, it is both from inside and outside um yeah so generally uh, at the immigration point it's generally we depend on you know i know 
people might be watching me because I've got one particular email somebody sent me email uh, from Nigeria who is thinking about visiting for his birthday so you know it just depends on which passport you're carrying in terms of applying for visa as well you know some countries have to apply for visa before they go and why some country is just visa free so you just have to do a little bit of research to find out uh, you know but this particular video is basically just about you know what you expected to uh, to see at the airport 